when we go into a department store and we're bombarded with so many things to buy, how the hell will we know what we should get? And we're doing research on the fly to, to figure out, is this what we really want? Is this authentic? Is this really real? And so with Dionis's company, True Lux, we're going to learn how we can really enjoy buying luxury goods and staying happy. And then, of course, if we get Dovev's application, our stress level will go down, so we'll buy more, and then we'll eat more healthily. And you see, life is one continuous circle. Dionis, tell us all about True Lux. Thank you. Pleasure to be here tonight. Uh, it's a tough time, so we'll try and get over the wine. Uh, let's talk a little bit about beautiful things. Anybody here owns a luxury product or bought a luxury product recently? Pretty cool. That's cool. Anybody buy it secondhand? Only new. Okay, so from the people who bought it new, how do you know that what you bought is really authentic? How do you know that it's real? Anybody here from the audience? Sorry? Popularity of the seller. Okay. Of the product. Okay. But how do you know that your one is real? You hope. You hope. Okay. A certificate is good. It's better than just trusting somebody. Okay. The certificate is good. So let's talk a little bit about luxury goods and luxury items. So in terms of industry, luxury goods are a huge industry. It's 500 billion. Okay. The only thing that could stop it is COVID for one year. It's been growing for the last 15 years. And what's interesting is that it's growing across generations. Gen Z, millennials, everybody is buying it. Okay. And what's more even interesting than that is that it's shifted to online. So people are buying more and more luxury goods online, not only in physical stores, which makes the problem of authenticity or knowing what you're buying even worse. Because essentially you're, work, you're looking at a website, at a bunch of pictures sold by somebody who you never met, and you're paying tens of thousands of dollars for an item which you hope is real. And that, is a big problem. How big is it a problem? As big as the actual market for real goods. So recently, and th that's been very nice, uh, about a month ago there was a story in the New York Times about fake luxury goods, specifically fake leather bags. And they found that experts, human experts, on luxury items could not differentiate between a bag which costs $10,000 and the fake which costs like $500, okay? The fakes have become so good. And it's a huge, huge issue. And the market for fake consumer goods, we're not even talking about pharmaceuticals or automotive, is $600 billion. It's being faked that much. So what do we do about it? How can we solve that? Today, when you go to a reputable online store or an offline store, they have experts. These experts receive the items, they validate them in labs, they generate certificates. You trust those experts, hopefully, and then you buy the item based on that authentication. When you want to buy something, it may take several weeks between the time the item is offered by the seller to the point where it's offered to you as the buyer. Or if you're a seller, it will take you several weeks just to start selling. And in the online world of everything right now, and we want everything when we want it, which is exactly now, that doesn't fly, okay? Because it just takes too long. It costs too much time, too much human effort. They have dozens of labs. It's too difficult to do. And one of the reasons is because if you ask an expert, so how do you know that an item is real? They will answer you, I know that it's quality made. But what does it mean quality made? How do you quantify that? That's why experts also don't agree. They have minute details they look at, but some of them are not even visible to the human eye. They need a microscope. 
they need various types of lighting. So, oh, sorry, my presentation jumped. And if we see here, the differences between real items and fake items may be a shade of white, okay? It may be the way that a certain component was cut in the CNC machine. It may be the quality of the laser etching. And the difference between a quality laser etching and a fake one is the difference between a billion euro machine and a an 100 million euro machine. Okay? That's the difference between what Rolex uses and Folex uses. Okay? Th that's how it works. And these experts are trying to find that. And what we've actually developed is technology that is able to look and hear those items and do that automatically. We were able to use sensor fusion, mainly from image sensors, but also other sensors, and AI on top to govern the decision making in order to actually quantify what does it mean to make a quality product. And we then are able to use that in order to decide even in some cases without knowing anything about the actual product itself, whether it's quality made and by having very little information about the product or how it should be made to decide if it's real. So unlike traditional AI, we don't need thousands of data points. We can do three. And then we're able to tell if a Rolex is a real Rolex. And at the end, we're developing a machine which, very similar to the diamond industry, any boutique you enter, which is a jewelry store, they have a machine which tests for real diamonds. And it's all accepted by everybody, by the GIA. So we're developing a similar machine just for everything else, except diamonds. For watches, later on for handbags, later on for sneakers, for collectible items. So we're, we're building up our databases. And this machine will be able to issue a lab-grade certificate and we're going to the brands to be able to be certified by the brands that this item is authentic. And later on, we'll also have an app. The app will allow peer-to-peer -peer transactions. So I want to buy from you, Sharona, a Rolex watch, so I need to know if it's real. But also it will... It's real. It's real. It's real. If it's from Sharona, it's real. That's, that's programmed into the app. <laughs> and it will enable online commerce automation. So what takes weeks will take 10 minutes because it will be able to remotely receive data into our AI cloud and then decide if that product is real and also its valuation. And at the end, we'll also be able to create a digital fingerprint for this product, for this particular item, to trace it along its entire life cycle through everybody who ever bought it and ever owns it, and even connect it to a blockchain or an NFT, which is now being issued by all the large brands when you buy the product. And we do that by the same micro features we decide it's authentic on. So today it's luxury goods, tomorrow it's sneakers, collectible items, in the farther future, maybe pharma and automotive parts, everything which is faked. So this is why True Lux. Thank you. Thank you very much. So now we can see the future with our expert glasses on what is real and what's not real. And what's